Race for Spokane mayor has drawn a lot of money and attention and after months of buildup, it ended quickly. Yes, it did. Within five minutes of the initial results, Ben Stucker conceded and Nadine Woodward was declared the winner. These are the latest numbers right now from the county elections office. You can see Nadine Woodward coming away with 52% of the vote to Stuckert's 47. And she's had the lead from the beginning of this campaign, Woodward winning the primary in August as well. Graham 2's Amanda Broly is in Brown's edition where Ben Stuckert's party ended early tonight. But we begin with Casey Decker. He's downtown at an election night watch party for Nadine what more? Casey? Yeah, well, like you guys said, Nadine Woodward declared victory just moments after those first returns came out. She says that by electing her mayor, Spokane voters have declared they want significant change in their local government. She says they've given her a broad and strong mandate, but that she's not quite ready to say what exactly she'll do on day one. to represent the change that voters wanted. And to listen and to be a voice for you. I will use my strengths as a communicator, a storyteller, a collaborator to be the city's biggest advocate. You know, they, they want safer neighborhoods. They want a safer downtown. They want to start reducing our homeless population and getting people the help that they need. They want uh, more housing. We gotta start working on our housing. We have a housing crisis right now. They want more economic development opportunities, higher paying wages, all of those things. So we have a lot to do. So I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna do on day one, maybe test out the chair and test out the view from that window. So Nadine Woodward will become the next mayor of Spokane. She'll take office in January and Ben Stuckert will become a private citizen. And we'll have Nadine's message to Ben for you on Creme at 11 o'clock. Reporting for the Barrister Winery in downtown Spokane, Casey Decker, Creme 2 News.